Hi friends, welcome to the Seattle Children's Museum Artist in Youth program. My name is Nini and today we are going to be doing water and ice painting. So what I have here are liquid watercolors that I have then added water to. What you can also use is food coloring. Just know that if you use food coloring, it is most likely not washable and it will dye things for a while. And then right over here, what I have is some paint and I've just put it in here and stuck it in the freezer for about a day. And I put popsicle sticks in it before so that I could have some sort of handle. We'll see if it works. Okay, so I think I'm going to actually start off by using some of the paint, like the frozen paint and mixing colors to see what other colors we can create. Alrighty, so friends, if we use, oh, most of it stayed in my tray. That's okay. So right here I have some red. If I mix red with yellow, ooh, actually, go ahead and feel your paint. Ooh, mine is, I'm not sure if you can tell right here, but it's a little squishy and I'm able to mold it. It's a little bit like clay, but clay that gets all over your hands. All right. Okay, so it's not actually as easy to paint with ice as I thought it would be. So let's see. Aha, because most of it is still frozen, but here we go. We got some yellow on our paper. Now we're going to try and add some red over it. I'm just going to use my fingers. That's another way of painting. We can use water and ice and our fingers. Basically, we're going to finger paint. Just trying to avoid using a paintbrush. All right. Ooh, a little bit there. It's cold. <laughs> it was in the freezer. Okay. So when we are mixing red and yellow, what color do we get? Mix in more yellow. Mm -hmm. See any guesses? We get a little bit of an orangey, orange color. We should get orange, but right now, because my ice, my paint, my frozen paint is mixed a little bit with other colors, I'm not getting the orange I want, but you can always experiment with it and add more red, add more yellow, and see how your color changes. Okay, now I have, my fingers are all red, so I might as well mix the red with the blue. What color do you think I'll get if I, when I mix red and blue together? And then do another circle over here. All right, let's see. Ooh, on my fingers, I notice that I'm starting to get a purpley color because my fingers are full of red. Now they're blue as well. So purple. Okay, I'm gonna add more red. Super awesome. All right, now what if we mix blue and yellow? What color do you think we'll get? Let's see. I'm gonna put it on the paper. Do you have any blue there? No. I'll use my other hand. I find that it is easier for me to paint with the frozen paint once it is melting. Oh, I put it in the wrong pile. I'll get some more. Ooh. Oh, we're getting a nice green. Aha. Wonderful. Okay, now I'm curious to see what will happen if I just add some. If I just spray some paint on here, I'm gonna test it out and make sure it's just, okay, perfect. So let's see, we can just spray on top. Do you think once I spray the paint, it'll stay 
just in one place or if I, or what do you think will happen if I lift it up? Let's find out. Oh, it starts to drip everywhere because it is liquid watercolor. It is not solid at all. But as you can see, our frozen paint is doing a pretty good job. Oh my. It's doing a pretty good job at just staying in one place. You can see how it's right here and it's just staying. Let's add some, I used green. Let's add some blue. Let's see. And I'm gonna add some more green. This is a fun experiment to be able to do like outside where you can just let the paint go everywhere and not worry about the mess or like fully, yeah. And I can put, oh, I like how when I lift it up, the watercolor just like drips down and it creates all of these lines. I really wish I had more colors here with me. I unfortunately do not. I'm limited to blue and green, but I bet if like we mix some, if we had like red and blue, some of the lines that were dripping, when they would drip together, they might turn into green. So, here we go, friends. This is my creation of water. Oh, ooh, look at this. Check out these drips down here. So, what I did there is, I guess, the blue watercolor mixed with the frozen paint, and then the drips started looking purple. Super neat. So, Go ahead and do all of these experiments at home. Make sure your caregiver is A-OK -okay with you making a mess and it'll be so much fun. Have so much fun with it. Use your fingers. It'll be great. Awesome. Thank you friends for joining me for the artist in you. I can't wait to see some of your creations. Go ahead and tag us online on Instagram and then we'll post all of our creations all together. Awesome. Thank you friends. Bye.